This is Ryan Patrick at Peak Fitness and Sports Training and today we're going to talk about lateral power development in athletes. So sports are played at many angles, cutting, turning, rotating through, not just straightaway speed. And that's one of the areas that lacks in a lot of speed training programs is working on power development for use or application to the actual sport. What we're going to work on today is called a height inverse the band. It's a drill that we use to help athletes in season learn how to produce power side to side. Okay, so one of the benefits here is that we've got a band and a lot of people will first see this as, hey, it's going to resist us as we push out into the band. But one of the underappreciated aspects of this is that the band is going to slow us down as we move away in the direction we're jumping, making the impact softer for the ankles, the knees, and the hips three areas that often get beat up among all our athletes. So it's a great tool for us to use in season to make sure we're keeping power development high and stress to the joints and the tissues of the body as low as possible. So when we start, we want our athletes in nice ready positions. They're gonna be bent at the knee, sitting back in their hips with a flat spine. That way we've loaded all the muscles that they're gonna to use to produce power, rather than just having them start straight up, not really in a pos position to produce force. Once they set up, they're going to jump out as hard as they can and land on the opposite leg as controlled as possible. So it looks something like this. You get a little tension against the band. We'll get them in that ready position. They'll jump and walk back. It's a great entry level exercise for lateral power development, the height inverse the band.